Hi everybody, I'm Boaz Fader. I'm an evolutionary astrologer and I'm here with a weekly astrological message for the week between the 29th of April and May 6, 2017. So there's not a lot of planetary movements in the sky this week. Hi. But there is one that is very stressful and I'm talking of course about the square between Saturn and Chiron. It's a square that demands us to face reality, that demands us to answer all the places that we're not able enough in in our lives, the places that we are challenged with, places that we're not adult enough or responsible enough. And the sense is very acute that we need to get ahead and change. And if not, frustration builds up, stress builds up. And the only way to really diminish it is provide positive progression in our life. Now, why am I saying this? First of all, remember that from this 30th, this effect diminishes. But still on the 30th, the moon in Cancer, which is already very emotional and sensitive, joins in creating a T-square with that square fueling it. So we can feel extra sensitive and that square is heightened on the 30th. Please be kind to yourself and others and don't let emotionality rule your day. Use your mind. Right, Bambi? Right. Okay. So that goes on also in the 1st <coughs> of May because the moon is going to oppose Pluto and that brings up the opportunity for us to get to great highs and great depths of emotion. And... Uh, Yes. And the, the emotional extremes could be high on the 1st of May. Right? What's going on? Are you okay? Yeah? Good. Anyway, on, uh, all, 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 all through this week, Mercury, that's been in retrograde motion for the past three weeks. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, come here. Mercury that's been in retrograde motion for the last three weeks is stagnating and is going to move back into direct motion on the 3rd of May. But it's doing so conjunct Uranus, which means that we have such a short fuse. We really, that adds to the fact that we want to get ahead in life. We want to move forward. Now, this could be a great thing because it fuels us to actually move forward in life and do the things we need to do but we need to be patient patient with ourselves and patient with others as well and not be too impulsive use our cerebral abilities to try and navigate and see the consequences on the long term okay this is also a time that we can have ingenious ideas we can think outside the box and we can really bring concepts and ideas and thoughts that are ahead of their time into our reality so other than that what helps us in the sky to actually be creators and do it is that on the fourth there is a beautiful fire trine between the moon in leo which is creative by itself to saturn oh, oh, oh are you, are you okay oh you got hit i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry oh yeah yeah, yeah. so we have the a, a, a grand fire trine between the moon in leo and um, Mercury and Uranus and uh, Saturn and that's going to help us to actually do things in our life that we need to do. Oh, yeah, yeah. How about how about the tiger? How about the tiger? Would you would you like to go to the tiger position? Yeah. Is this better? Yeah. Is this better for you? Yeah. So being a daddy is something that uh, is positive change and getting ahead in the life, right? Right? It's about being a daddy? Yeah. It's about having some gas and helping them <laughs> cope with it. Not me, her. <laughs> anyway, so this great fire try in the sky on May 4th is really good for progression. Really good for actually implementing those changes and putting things on the ground of reality. Other than that, on the 6th of May, the moon is going to be in Virgo and it's going to square Saturn. Just don't be too critical. Not uh, to yourself and not to others in your life. Be kind 
and benevolent. That's about everything I had to say for this week. I want to thank you for listening and I want to thank you, Elia, for being here with us in this world and in this uh, uh, forecast message as well. And that's it. Any questions you want to ask, you want to ask and of course for private consultations from wherever you are around the world or private lessons or courses, feel free to uh, um, call me up. I'm here. And that's it from Elia and Boaz. Have a beautiful, successful week. Goodbye.